Hey everyone, Dan and Leslie back for another Disney dining review. This has been much anticipated and I'm so excited that we have another new restaurant opened back up. We are going to 1900 Park Fair, which opened yesterday. <laughs> we couldn't go yesterday because um, we had plans. Jennings was in a musical, his first ever last night, which was amazing. That's a story for another video. <laughs> um, but we are excited to get back over to 1900 Bar Fair. We're actually reviewing breakfast today, this morning. Mm -hmm. I'm going to edit it real quick and throw it up on the channel. <laughs> so this is fresh. And then next week, we're going to be back and reviewing dinner there. Yes. And the breakfast offerings here look incredible. So let's just talk price for just a quick minute. It is $54 per adult and $34 per child. And then Disney sized, a child is three to nine. Seems a little pricey, but we also thought Garden Grill was reasonable at $47. So an additional $7 <laughs> for a brand new meal. I don't know, but I've heard that they are not doing discounts here yet. Yes. Because it's a brand new, brand new restaurant. So that's 10% if you're an AP holder or DVC member that you don't get. Yeah. And but one thing is that they are offering a ton more than Garden Grill has on their menu because it is a buffet. And so, I mean, the breakfast offerings, and this says it's a partial listing, I'm not even going to read them all, is a bread pudding, donut holes, the Grand Floridian strawberry soup. You've got cinnamon pull apart bread, beef and potato hash, omelet selections, uh, biscuits and gravy. I mean, croissant breakfast pizza, the list goes on and on and on. And I, it's I'm like, my stomach is audibly talking to me right now, so I'm pretty excited. Not only is it a buffet, but is it a character buffet? So it's mm. a character dining experience, and they have brought in new characters that we have never seen here before. This restaurant used to be one set of characters for breakfast. It was uh, Alice, Alice from Alice in Wonderland, the Mad Hatter, Tigger, Mary Poppins, somebody else. Maybe. Piglet? Maybe Piglet, maybe Piglet. I don't remember. Um, and then dinner, it was uh, the evil stepmother and stepsisters, Cinderella and Prince Charming. So it was kind of fun having that. But from what I understand, it is the same characters for breakfast and dinner now. Yes, and it is Tiana. It is Cinderella. It's a Mirabelle and it's Aladdin. So it's a very unique kind of um, pairing of characters, but I think it could really fit well. We will see. I'm excited to get over there and try breakfast. Are you ready to go back to 1900 Park Fair? Yes. Let's do this. We have arrived. I have two forks and I'm gonna use both of them here. This is crazy. There are so many different options for food that are unique, new. They have gummy bears for crying out loud on this buffet for breakfast. So um, I have got so much food here, it is a little ridiculous. But I've got cheesy grits, I've got the strawberry soup, complete with whipped cream and real strawberries. I have got a 
breakfast pizza made out of croissants for the dough. Obviously my tater tots. I've got a hash that has a homemade steak sauce, jalapenos, and some sort of steak meat in there. I'm a sucker for fresh smoked salmon on a breakfast buffet. I could go on and on and on, but I'm gonna try some of this stuff. Let's start with the strawberry soup. It sounds a little weird, but it's just a chilled, sweet strawberry soup. It's actually really nice for breakfast. They have it on breakfast and dinner. Really good. All right, so this cinnamon pull apart bread is calling my name. I mean, look at the ooey gooey goodness that this is. It's like when my mom used to make monkey bread, if you've ever had monkey bread, where it's all stuck together and it's caramel. Mm, that's really good. I also love that, um, that they have this croissant pizza on here. That's really good. I'm gonna devour this. All right, initial thoughts after trying everything uh, on my two plates and two bowls. <laughs> Um, the cheesy grits are a little bland, but very creamy. The strawberry soup is fantastic. Uh, the pull apart sticky bun, very good. The bread pudding is a little dry. Uh, the cheesy eggs are really, really good. As are both sets of potatoes. So there's the cheesy potatoes, and there's that hash with the, like, I think there's, it's like sausage. Um, and uh, jalapenos and peppers in there. Very, very good. The smoked salmon is actually a little too fishy. Um, and the tater tots are wonderful. This man and his tater tots. Can't take them anywhere. Join together to celebrate the magical power of a wish. I'm ready. It's now time to begin. Everyone, take hold of your wishing star. Look at what you wrote. They give you this, um, what do they call this? A wish maker. You can write your wish on the back of this and on the front of it is the signature card. And then they do that little presentation. I don't know how often they do it, but uh, supposedly like once in the meal. And I don't know. We'll see if our happily ever after comes true. I concur with you on the potatoes. Man, I mean, I could have like a whole platter of both the hash and the cheesy potatoes. They were fantastic. The ham was a little dry. I don't think you got the ham. Um, and the grits are super creamy, but they definitely need like some salt and pepper. Uh, yeah, I'm, I didn't get the strawberry soup my first time around. I'm gonna go back and I think that's gonna be dessert. Good morning, my friends. I'm doing well. It looks like you guys are enjoying the breakfast so far, huh? It is delicious. Knowing him, he appeared to eat so much that he would start bouncing off the walls and swinging on the chandeliers. He probably mess up all of those paintings. Oh, yeah. I mean, in that too. We want to make sure that he doesn't feel left out. Hola, amigos. Buenos dias. How are you? I'm doing amazing. See, isn't this place the best? It is so great. You know, I came here because my cousin Dolores heard that the food was really good. Yeah. And I thought, well, is it any better than my mommy's cooking? <laughs> and I am a little if the characters don't necessarily go together in the same movie. They have done a fantastic job and I can't wait to talk about it at home. So we'll wrap it up there. She missed us. <laughs> All right, we are 
back. Before we get into this review, if you are looking to plan your next magical vacation, please reach out to us over at Fantastical Vacations. We plan Disney destinations, Universal Cruise Lines, and all-inclusive resorts. Oh, my about it, sister. Hello. So, this is still a thing. <laughs> But I wasn't really upset about it this time because I was totally expecting it. They've been doing this. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch the Narcoosies review and you can hear my meltdown about this little guy. I feel like they've improved it a little bit. A little bit. So um, if you have a dining reservation, but you're not staying in the hotel, the Grand Floridian makes you cross up, uh, makes you park across Floridian Way. So the main road that goes between what used to be just cast member parking and resort guest parking. Um, up until a few months ago, um, everybody that had any sort of reservation at the Grand Floridian could just park where all the guests park. Um, I guess they ran out of space. Not sure how that happened. Um, but, you know, now you get this little guy. This, so this is a, presumably we, we thought they were moving parking across the street because people were abusing the uh the the dining window so you've always been able to park for three hours with the dining reservation um but we think i mean we know that people park there and they walk over to magic kingdom and spend all day there this is still a three hour parking limit um yeah. it's dated it says breakfast i don't know why they can't do this and then still let you park in the main parking lot there was tons of spaces in the main parking lot whenever we did a u-turn to leave now a portion of those are valet. So you can go pay for valet if you want to, but if yeah. you want to self park, it's across the street. So they they do have a shuttle now. It's a golf cart, um, a six seater golf cart that you can, they will drive you to the front door. Um, it was full when we got up to it. So we ended up walking anyway, but they were taking other people up to the front door. So there's that. There's I mean, that. at least they're trying. So, <laughs> um, all right. I'm excited to talk about 1900 Park Fair. This has been a much anticipated reopening. It has been closed for four years, four very long years. Can you believe, can you believe it's been four years? <laughs> it's crazy. I thought they were gonna do like a massive refurb. They did some stuff in there, but it looks pretty much the same as it did. Yeah, I don't, I mean, it's been so long that I don't really exactly remember exactly what it looked like inside there, but they do have paintings up around, and I know at least some of them are new because uh, there's a painting from the movie Wish, uh, and that was not out four years ago. So, so some of them at least are new. I don't know if that whole concept is new, or though. I, I don't, I don't remember. know. Um, the layout is basically the same as it was, but it does feel fresh in there. So maybe they yeah. just changed like finishes. The upholsteries. I don't remember what exactly upholstery they had, but it does feel nice in there. Should we just start from the top? Okay, so ambiance. Um, so there's several things that we talked about with ambiance with this one. We split up ambiance and theming because we did not get any beverages. We just had coffee and the glorious pog juice, um, which. I could get used to having breakfast on property every week and getting pog juice. <laughs> it's just so good. <laughs> yeah, pog juice and coffee is, that's all I need. Yeah, so anyway, so ambiance. It is a little loud in there, but the flow is nice. And one thing I really did like is that they sat us at a two top, which I typically hate two tops because they're so cramped and crowded, especially at a buffet when you have all your dishes, but they're nice size two tops. They're nice size two tops, and I like their, the placement of the two tops. So you're not cramped in two other tables. They were in between these columns, so we actually kind of felt like we had our own little alcove, which yeah. was kind of nice. Um, you mentioned it being a little bit loud. The flow of the buffet is oh, maybe the best on property. It's fantastic. Like yeah. it's, I, I, there were like I could go up there, take video, B-roll, get anything I wanted. There was maybe one person sitting there, maybe no one. Like. There's not a ton of people in this restaurant. It is, they got them packed in there, but it's not the size of the restaurant, the capacity of the restaurant, I think is appropriate for the buffet and the layout of the buffet. And I like how the buffet is laid out. Yeah. It's not like you're crammed in there like some buffets. The way it flows, it's, you're right. It's just, it is really, it's remarkable. We did pull ambiance down slightly because of the parking thing. They have made it better, but it is still like, Again, when we were leaving the restaurant, so we couldn't ride the shuttle coming because it was full. When we were leaving the restaurant, the shuttle wasn't there. Uh, yeah. It was waiting in the other parking lot. So and there's that. I didn't notice like signage like wait here for shuttle or anything like that. So and then it started raining on us about the time that we got to the parking lot. So yeah. the last it was sprinkling on us the lot. Anyway, all that to say, it can rain when you're walking into a, a parking lot. Just know going in, the parking isn't the best scenario. But yeah. I think for, I mean, this was not a cheap meal. Uh, with tip, it was 135 dollars for two people for breakfast. Not a cheap <laughs> meal, but um, it's I- It's a really I, good breakfast. <laughs> I just think it kind of starts the, starts the, 
It starts the experience off wrong if you're parking in a cast member parking lot. Yeah. Um, no, no, nothing against cast members. It's just a cast member parking lot is meant to be out of the way, out of sight, out of mind. And when you're putting guests over there, then you in turn feel out of sight, out of mind, not special. And But they're willing for you to come in and spend your money. All that to say, <laughs> <laughs> we gave ambiance a three and a half. Yes, theming. So... You know, the, the, we mentioned that they kind of like maybe freshened things up a little bit, like it felt fresh in there, but really truly the theming here is the characters. I mean, and they were phenomenal. I mean, I swear Aladdin just came out of the animated film and <laughs> he was arrived. Very good. Like he, he looked like Aladdin. He sounded like Aladdin. He was just adorable. I, he, they, all of them were just wonderful. Great interactions. It was fun meeting. They don't go together necessarily like Aladdin, Mirabelle, Tiana, and Cinderella. Strange, right? Like <laughs> I wouldn't put those together, but yeah. it's fun meeting them all. Yeah. And the kind of underlying theme here is wish and you know all of them had a wish and all of them had a dream and so that's kind of like the underlying like thing that pulls all of these characters together and they just really truly were fantastic and the whole wish thing where you pulled the card yeah, up I cried and do the whole bit. thing that's kind of cool that adds to the theming um so yeah it's 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 really well done we gave theming a four and a half service so from being greeted at the the front there were tons Tons, loads of cast members that were just, you know, checking on us, saying hello, saying goodbye. The manager came by and just made sure everything was good. I mean, she was like popping into all the tables. Um, our lady came by and filled up our pog juice. Three, three four times. Because like... we really like pog juice. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I mean, it just, we felt very well taken care of. She cleared our plates without yeah. asking. I mean, it was just like, she's like, are you done? Okay, take this plate. Even, very good. Even the gentleman at the um, the carving station, he was like joyful. And whenever I walked up, he was like, well, hello, how are you today? And he like sliced me up some meat. I don't know. It just, everybody was really lovely. That being said, we did check in a few minutes early and it took him 20 minutes to seat us at a two-top. Yeah. Um, and so they, they admittedly had some opening day, oh, sure. opening week issues. So I think, so we gave them, uh, we gave service a four. I think it could easily hit four and a half probably, which is actually really good at a buffet because there's not a whole lot of service going on, right? Like yeah. drinks, refills, clear plates, that's it. Like we're getting our own food and all that stuff. So um, I think four is fair. Yeah. Let's talk about that food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was it was very good. Um, what I love about this buffet is the number of selections that you have and the uniqueness of a lot of it. There are like special things on this buffet. Yeah. You've got Eggs Benedict, you have uh, smoked salmon, you've got the hash, you've got the cheesy potatoes, Ooh, you've got cheesy grits, you've pull got- Pull apart uh, sticky bun things. Pull apart sticky buns. You've got all kinds of different, like uh, like the strawberry soup, you can't find that anywhere. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's really, really well done. Um, they've got vegan vegetarian options. They have uh, two different types of eggs. They've got sausage and or, uh, biscuits and gravy. They've got, um, they have gummy bears for crying out loud. You can get <laughs> cereal on this buffet. So I agree. Selection is amazing. Yeah. Honestly, I was thinking $54 for an adult is really expensive for breakfast here. But at the same time, we thought uh, $47 was really a good price for Garden Grill. And the food here was so much better, so much better, better selection, better character interactions. So I think I don't know, we either overrated Garden Grill, which I don't think we did, I, we really enjoyed yeah. it, or we just have to be okay with spending $54. But something about, you cross that magic number of 50 for a breakfast, <laughs> yeah. and it and seems like, real Ooh. expensive. <laughs> but it's definitely worth $7 more than Garden Grill was. Oh my goodness, yes. I mean, and, and everything pretty much was well prepared. Um, there were a couple of things, like the ham I felt like was a little bit dry. The grits were, creamy but they need salt and pepper yeah. which i would much rather have to add salt and pepper at the table than it be like too salty so that's true i'm not i'm not hugely upset about that um so you know i mean like it wasn't like every single item was perfect but there was such a great selection and most items were very very good yeah like you said 
Not everything we loved. Uh, there were some things that could have definitely, like the salmon was too fishy. Um, but we gave it a four, definitely above average, not the best food we've ever had on property by any stretch of the imagination. I still think that Topolino's Taros is probably the best breakfast character experience that we've had. We still gotta go try Kate May for breakfast mm. to see what that character dining experience is. But honestly, this is, this is pretty far up there. Um, and we need to rate Ohana character dining for breakfast as yeah. well. So we, we still got some to do. We haven't rated uh, Topolino's for breakfast. We haven't rated it for breakfast. We've, We've eaten there for breakfast. Eaten there, yes. And I always say it's a it's the my favorite character yeah. breakfast, but it's not a buffet. It's hard to get to, so <laughs> it's hard to get to. Anyway, this is definitely are both meals, breakfast and dinner, a uh, single table service credit on the dining plan? I believe so. Because dinner is sixty six dollars and that's really getting out there. Yeah. We need to check that because I'm not yeah. sure. If I this is so. if this is a single table service credit for dinner or breakfast, pretty sure breakfast would be, but this is a fantastic use of the dining credit mm -hmm. for, for table service dining. So if you add up all of our ratings and divide that out by four, then you get an even four. And honestly, like I feel like some of the things might have been opening week issues. I think this one could flex up a little bit um, depending on when you go and, and how it all is. So yeah. it's it's a really excellent choice. I can't wait to go back for dinner. We're going back next week. So our next dining review will be of 1900 Park Fair dinner. We'll mm -hmm. see if it holds up. We'll see if some of those um, opening week uh, um, hiccups, I guess we'll call it, if some of those um, continue on or if they fix some of them. We'll see if we, um, 20 minutes is a little bit long to wait for a buffet when you're checking in a few minutes ahead of time. So usually they sit you right yeah. away. So um, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. All right, well, if you are liking these videos, please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. And we will see you on the next video.